What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. So today we're gonna to talk about the G920 and the aftermarket wheels and some things that I think you guys should know if you guys are planning on changing your rim to a uh, full size rim or stuff like that. As you guys know, I am rocking my new NRG Innovations uh, Alcatara suede wheel. So there's some few things that I should definitely let you guys know. As you know, I have no buttons or anything on the back of mine. I have all the buttons completely removed. There's nothing behind it because all my buttons are off to the side. So I will leave the link for the video um, about the buttons on the side in the description box below on how I moved them so you guys can refer to that for moving them. So the biggest thing is today we're going to talk about weights of wheels and stuff like that and uh, different options you have for installing an aftermarket wheel on the G920. Things I found that I believe everybody should know. So we're going to take this room off take it over to the other side and do a little uh, comparison. So let's, uh, let's do it. So I just have it mounted straight to my adapter, which I'm going to show you guys here. Once I get this unscrewed, I'm trying to do this while, uh, holding a camera and, uh, unscrewing my bolts at the same time you know multitasking and you got the rabbit in the background uh drinking his water over there that's what the clicking is so i'm gonna get this unscrewed here fully all right so we should be able to take this off right there leave our screws right there and now let's get into the uh adapter that i have on here okay so if you notice like i said there's nothing behind my rig behind the wheels. I just use a standard uh, adapter that's 3D printed. Um, I believe the link for it is an AM Studios adapter that uh, I had 3D printed and it's a flush adapter. So he does have another adapter like this. It's called the Boss Adapter. So this is a, if you notice the thickness difference, this is a custom designed one that he gave to me. So this simply slides over the G920, once you take all the wheel off, it slides simply, it's got the exact thing, it will slide right on the shaft of the G920. So this is the adapter that I'm using because I don't have my buttons or anything back there. There's some other 3D printed ones that you can do if you have access to a 3D printer that you can uh, put on with the factory wheel, which you're gonna actually get into with the buttons and stuff like that. And we're gonna do some weighing to weigh the difference between the G920 wheels, the aftermarket wheels, my wood grain versus my Alcaterra and stuff like that. Like I said, I'll leave all the links for me moving on the side. I did put my L and R buttons here for right now just because I kept tired of going back. Um, description on how to move all that uh, in the description box so you can refer to those videos. So let's move over behind me onto a little whiteboard so we can uh, take a look at some other things about uh, the wheels and uh, changing it over and stuff like that. All right, so as you can see, we got a lot of things going on right here. We got my minty green and Nero chrome NRG wheel. We got the Alcatara wheel. We got the stock G920 rim. And we do have a, uh, a scale back here, which we're gonna get to in a minute. So the stock G920 wheel, um, obviously the sizing is way different. You go from a 300 I believe it's like a 250, maybe 300 to like a 350 wheel. So with all the button controls and everything here, and you guys know that the wheel goes in, I don't have the buttons out so I can't pull those all the way out. Then you have the center. So if you guys are changing over to a full size rim, but you don't want to remove um, the buttons from behind, it's quite actually simple when you take the wheel off of course, you'd be removing these two. I do show that in the other video that I'm leaving in the description box. You do remove these two buttons that so you can actually get the full rim off. So I had a simple billet adapter. Of course, I have an energy sticker on there now. And I drilled these holes in here. These holes aren't actually on it. It's just these holes right here. So this billet adapter is available online. I believe it's like 25 bucks. I'll leave a description on it. This actually screws right onto the button control with these screws 
with the factory screws that hold the G920 rim on. So once you do that, you have the ability to put a 70 millimeter hub rim right onto it. Now the only problem with this that I found is the buttons are really close to the spokes on a flat style wheel. This is what I used to run. But if you had a rim like this, as you can see the buttons are a little bit more accessible, but the side button is still pretty, uh, pretty close to that. So that's one of the things um, I think you should know about that. But with this, this itself weighs uh, 5.5 ounces. So you're adding this to the G920, and then you're adding a rim, which is also heavier. How much heavier is the question? Because the boss adapter weighs 1.8 ounces, whereas that weighs 5.4. So the 3D printed adapter weighs definitely a lot less. It's just as strong. So now the question goes, how much more does the aftermarket rims weigh? Well. We're going to take all the parts of the G920 rim, controller, wheel, top piece, and the actual weight of a G920 rim is one pound 6.3 ounces. So that's a factory G920 rim. That's how much a factory G920 rim weighs with all the buttons. So now, for my rig, I'm running 1.9 ounces, so basically two ounces more on my boss adapter. And my Alcatara wheel only weighs 2.1. So the difference between all the buttons on the G920 rim, if you take everything off, 1.6 to 2.1 is only, you know, it's not, it's 1.6, I mean, it's not super, it's not that much heavier. I mean, of course it is heavier, so. And the difference between, say, my Alcatara wheel, which is 2.1, and my mint green and yellow chrome is pretty much the same. So the energy wheels pretty much all weigh the same, um, but the only difference is if you are, say you're taking the uh, factory rim or a factory adapter, you're adding a billet adapter. So you're starting off at 5.6, now you're going up to 11, then you're adding a rim on there, you're at 2.2 2, 2 pounds 12 ounces. So it gets pretty heavy if you're putting a billet adapter on your G920 and going with that. So would I recommend a 3D printed one? I definitely would because it's a lot lighter. There's not much weight to it, especially if you're going up to full size rims with the G920 not having so much um, torque on it. You may run into a uh, loss of feedback feel, which there is a bit of a loss of feedback feel when you go from the small rim to the bigger rim because of the size of the wheel and the weight. So does it help drive? Of course it does. It feels so much better. It feels more realistic by far. So to basically sum this all up, we're going to go back over to the rig with the rim and uh, sum everything up real quick. But just a little some things that I wanted you guys to know, the weights of the wheels and stuff like that. Things that I think you should know if you're changing your wheel. Um, Pulling the buttons out through the center is definitely an easy way if you don't use paddle shifters and you have an H pattern. So we're going to go back over to the rig and uh, do a little summary of up uh, and sum this all up real quick. And then uh, we'll, uh, you know, go from there. So we got our wheel back on. So to sum everything up, buttons to the side, definitely better for uh, wear and tear for drifting, especially if you have a handbrake wired in to, say, one of the paddles. That's only, of course, if you're using a shifter and, of course, my handbrake which is wired to the paddle shifter and stuff like that. So is changing the wheel a good thing? It gives you a more realistic feel. I feel like it gives you a lot more control. You do have to worry about weight. You will lose a little bit of force feedback. Doing a 3D printed adapter is way better than 
I feel the billet adapter. They do make some 3D printed adapters that go on the buttons, which I don't have, that you can just put the rim on top of the buttons with the paddles back there so you don't have to worry about pulling everything off to the side if you're not comfortable pulling everything off to the side. So, I just wanted to make this video give you guys some, uh, you know, things that I feel you should know if you're changing your rim on your G920. As you guys can see, uh, it's definitely a big, uh, big concave dish there. Got a little light refraction there. So, things I feel you should know. So, I guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it's a bit informative. I know a lot of people have been asking about the wheel weights and stuff like that. So, that's why I wanted to let you guys know about the rim weight. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope you guys uh, got some good information out of it. So, as always, I'm your Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the next one.